Hi, welcome to our presentation on the Sierra Hotfix Era Rhinestone Design Software. In this presentation, I'd like to show you a brief overview of the software, how we can actually design a rhinestone template, and uh, give you kind of a little taste of what this software has to offer. Now, this software is quite powerful, so with what I'm going to show you are just some of the quick tools that are easy to use and this is just part of what this whole package has to offer. Now when designing for a rhinestone template we typically like to start with some artwork um, and with that artwork we use it as a template to draw our rhinestones over it. So in order to choose an image that I'd like to work from I will go here and open an image. When I open an image, here I can choose where I want to open the image from. I have downloaded an anchor design that I really like, and I will use this as my template. Whenever I press open, it will bring it right into the software. Once it's brought into the software, I can then decide how big do I want this design. I can resize later, but it's usually good to start with an image at the size uh, that you're wanting to make the template from. So here I will go to my layout tools, change the size. Now when I change size X, it'll automatically change size Y for me. I can then go in and change the view by zooming in or zooming out or moving my scroll bars wherever I'd like on screen. I am going to move this template in the middle of the design. So here I will take it to a negative four position, which is half of eight. And when I hit enter, you can see that it'll shift, and you can see it shifts over to zero. And in here, I'd like to take that to a 5.33, that which is half of 10. I'll hit enter, and it will shift it to that zero, zero point. So after I move it to that zero, zero point, I will zoom in with my zoom in tool, and now I can see my design nice and big on my screen. And once I have that design in my screen where I'd like, what I can do is I can work with it and start inputting the rhinestones. We do have a lot of nice tools in here from manually retracing the design to automatically retracing the design. I also have various ways how I can fill the design with the stones. In this design, I'd like to put just an outline on the anchor and then fill the heart with stones. So in order to do that, I will go to my Hotfix tab, which allows me to choose from the Hotfix tools. And I would like to choose a single Hotfix fill. I can choose from many different types of fills, but here I am going to just choose a path. And that's because I want to do just an outline. I can also choose what size stones I'd like. And here I have a whole bunch of different stones. And not only do I have these stones, but I can actually bring in my own stones or, or, or choose from the library and create new stones to work with. So I'd like to choose the 10 SS, which is a darker color. And once that's chosen, I can then go in and say I'd like to manually draw it, auto draw it, or freehand. Here I'd like to auto draw it. So I'd like to auto trace. And when I do that and I choose that tool, I can go over the color that I'd like to auto trace and just simply left click. When I left click, it's reading that color and it's putting a path around that. Once I'm happy with that path, I can change you know, the different settings within the automatic tracing. I'll just hit enter. Once I hit enter, it'll then put in my stones. You can see those right up here. We can change any one of these settings later on if we'd like as well. I'll choose the inside path and left click. Once I get that path, I'll hit enter and it'll fill it with stone. So now let's on, move on to the bottom part. Left click once it's done reading it. And actually I see that I do need to change my setting here. So I'll left click on it and it changed that area. I had a little bit of a crazy path right there. So after I changed the setting, recalibrated it and now I hit enter and it will put the stones on for me. So that's a really nice tool. I'll go ahead and close that out and now we're going to go to our next tool where we are going to choose a, a different type of hot, uh, hot fix. And right now you can see that we do have a single hot fix, 
But for, for the next one, we would like to do um, a full, uh, you know, stoned fill on that heart. So here again, we will choose what kind of fill we would like. And again, we can change that later on if we want. And I would like to choose the type of stone. I'll choose the 10 pink. And then I will use the auto trace again. I select that. I'll left click on my heart. It does trace it. I then hit enter and it fills it with stones. So let's go ahead and look and see what it looks like right now. If I go to my view and click on 3D, you can see my stones on top of that image. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see what that design may actually look, out, look like without that image in the background. I can look at the simulation as well. And when I look at the simulation, it will give me what it looks like with that. And, you know, again, I can change anything I want in here. So I'm going to close that out and we'll go and show you a couple of the uh, editing tools. Now to edit this design, if I want to change anything about how the stones lay out, I can certainly do that. First of all, I'd like to change to my selection tool and I'm going to select the image in the background. We're going to go ahead and dim that image so that we can see the stones a little bit better. So after dimming that image, I will then select my stones and I can change the spacing. And you can see that as I move the spacing, you can see I get more stones. Um, I can also change the height spacing or the row spacing, I should say. And I'm increasing it. You can see I'm, I'm actually getting you know, more space between those rows. If I left click off to the side, you can see it changes it a little bit. Um, when I do select it, uh, not only do I have those tools, but I can also change the fill or even change the angle of how this uh, fill goes. And I can just change it by simply choosing my fill tool, changing that angle, and hitting enter and now I've got that, that new fill. Um, or I'm sorry, not that new fill, but the new angle. If I want to change the fill, I can just simply um, select the new fill that I'd like, and then it will recalculate it depending upon the fill that I changed it to. And again, with these fills, I can certainly change the settings in here. Now we can quickly add a border too, uh, of a different stone color. We can even do multicolored stones in there um, and, and kind of, you know, change it a little bit however we'd like. But in order to add a border, I just go up to the border tab. Once I'm in the border tab, I then choose what kind of border I'd like. And after it converts it and adds a border, I can then change the border stone you know, if I'd like to use a different color stone, I can certainly do that. If I'd like to look at my design now, I can go back to view and we can go to simulation and we can now see what we've changed in it. Well, let's say I've even changed my mind more and I want to take out the, uh, the fill inside the heart. I can, I'll go back, I'll close it out and I'll go back to my border and I'll say I'll separate that border. And after it's separated, I just simply delete the inside. So now I can go back, I can look at my simulation. Okay, I've changed my design. Now I, I don't have a border. Again, I can, I can change anything I want in here. So even if we start with something, we can change it to something else. After I'm done with my design, I save it to my machine format so that my machine can can read it. I do always save my design as a, a DSG file, which is for the Sierra software. And after I do that, I will go in and I'll export it to my hotfix machine. The hotfix machine that I'm using is the Noglin Herman. And in this one, we can use um, any one of these really. Uh, this design will fit on any one of these templates. So I can choose that I want that design to put down the stones in the center and I will define what kind of stones I'm using, which I'm using the blue tens 
and then I'm going to use the white tens. I'll go ahead and export and really this has no bearing on the colors that you use um, because it's whatever is in your machine. So I'll go ahead and export that. I'll, change, I'll save it to wherever I'd like and now I can take that to my machine. If I'd like to view a reference, I can see that reference. I can see how many stones are used and I can go in and um, print that design if I'd like to. And if I go to file, I can go to my print information, I can print the design. Um, there's a lot of different things that you might want uh, to take with you to the machine if you're doing it on the machine. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching this brief demonstration. If you do have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 877-724-6400. Thank you and have a great day.